Let's learn how to control AC light bulb using Blink mobile app and web dashboard. We will explore how to interface relay module with Node MCU ESP8266. This video is a part of Blink video series. Please make sure you have watched the previous video lesson. We have given a link of a part one in the video description. This video is sponsored by Altium Designer, world's leading PCB design software company. If you want to take your idea from a breadboard to an actual professional looking circuit board, just like any other electronics product, you must give it a try, it's a free. Check the link in the video description to get your first hand experience and I'm sure you will enjoy working with it. So here we have a standard single channel relay module. So in the market, there are so many different relay modules out there. There are two channel, four channel, eight channel relay and there are so many. This relay modules operates on five volt and the reason we must use this relay module instead of bare relay is because it comes with the built-in driver circuitry. Now, what does the driver circuitry means? Because this blue box, that's basically an actual relay. And there's a little transistor and the protection diode together form uh, the driver circuitry for this relay to operate when we use it to connect to the microcontroller or some small five volt operated circuitry. The reason, one more reason why we must use this single channel relay module because of the module, it makes it easy to connect to any microcontroller kit that you have. So you could have anything, you could have a Node MCU, you could have Arduino, Raspberry Pi or any STM32 nuclear board or whatever you have. It makes it very easy because it has this here we have a male header pins which can easily connect to the microcontroller board and you can see here is a terminal screw there are three terminal screw on the top which basically takes care of the ac side of the connections so this male header will be the dc side of the connections and this uh, terminal screw will be the ac side of the connections so that's how you know this relay module makes it very easy or super simple for us to connect the relay to our any microcontroller project now what is relay you know if you wonder what is relay then uh, relay is basically an electrically operated switch and it is used to control ac operated devices like light bulb fan or industrial motor or something like that so basically what you see here this blue box it's it's an it acts as a real uh, it acts as a switch and it is uh, electrically operated what does this mean this means like you have here uh, the input pin so let me just uh, let me just explain you first like how we're going to connect this uh, relay module to our microcontroller so you see here so this one is a vcc pin right there are three pins here there are three pin headers so we can the left pin okay this one will be vcc and that gonna connect to 3.3 volt on our node mcu module okay the middle one is basically a ground pin and that we will have to connect to the ground pin on the node mcu and the rightmost pin will be basically an input you can see it's written i n in that's an input and this input will connect to the digital pin that you want to control so let's say in node mcu we will use a gpio2 that's basically a d4 pin in our node mcu module that we wish to use so when we give a small amount of current to the input pin through logic 0 and 1 when we control through our node mcu this pin then the switch the, the the there's a magnetic coil inside this this blue box that coil will be energized okay and then on the top here is the ac side of the connections and on the ac side of the connection we will basically connect our light bulb because we wish to control the actual ac operated light bulb through this single channel relay when it connects to the node mcu so let's understand here what are the pins uh, this three pins okay so middle one usually become a common pin so it, you can refer that as a com so on this relay module you can see the names but there are usually if you buy a quality module then you can see there will be a name written for the middle one uh, screw terminal as a com that's a common pin and then the rightmost this will be rightmost this this terminal screw will be an o and that's basically means a normally open you can also write here 
normally open that means uh, it 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 has the open circuitry right just like um, something like this right if you know how the op how the switch works so when the input comes from the input pins logic one then this switch will be closed and then current flow through the circuit right that's how the normally open uh, um, terminal will be used if we use no and then the extreme left terminal screw will be an nc okay that's basically represent i mean it's a little bit difficult to write normally closed okay so that's basically uh, nc terminal now we will be using only the com and no pin okay so we will be using com and no that's why you see this two screw we will be using screw from the screw terminal to connect our uh, actual light bulb when we will connect this relay to the actual light bulb in a couple of minutes but you understand how it works right so we give some input current on the input pin and that is coming from our microcontroller and that basically energize the coil inside this relay module and that basically uh, turn on and off or create the logic levels on um, NO and NC pin depends on what you use you can either use NO or you can use NC depends on how you want to make the connection work right so now the basic question is uh, how relay and what is the purpose of the relay so relay basically help us let me just draw a line here so if I draw a line like this okay then you can easily see on the top you have um, AC side of the connection right AC side connection okay and here because we are connecting this three pins to our node MCU this is a DC side of the connection right so it basically help us to separate the AC and DC because we cannot connect a light bulb directly to our node MCU because it will get fired up our node MCU because node MCU operates on just a 3.3 volt and we cannot connect 230 volt operated device like a light bulb directly to the microcontroller okay so that's how it's gonna uh, we will gonna use this um, uh, relay module uh, to connect to our uh, microcontroller projects so let's not waste the time so here we have uh, a light bulb so there's a light bulb holder along with the light bulb and there's a two pin connector which will going to connect to the main socket and you see I have this wire which I have connected something like this so let me show you the zoom that's how it's connected now how are you gonna cut this wire and how you pull this two wires out that I'm going to show you in a moment okay so when you get any wire so it will be like this okay and then when you cut this wire like this so look at this if you take the cutter and if you cut the wire like this then you kind of get every wire has a two more wires inside it okay I hope you can see this one gray color and there is one red color or something like that and what I have done here is I I kept the red color wire as it is and I cut the cut this white or gray color wire out of this and then I removed some part of insulation in between and then I end up getting this kind of view right so something like this okay and if you can pull this up you can see there's a red color wire which is which is flowing as it is I didn't touch that I only cut that just to create a little space to draw this gray color wire out of this pin or connector because uh, as we know that we w wish to connect uh, a relay uh, to control this light bulb so we have this our relay module okay and we know that this terminal screw will take care of the AC side of the connections right so this is how it's going to be uh, uh, used so I'm going to place this relay module here okay and then uh, we have to have some tools so I'm having this little screwdriver and you see um, there are two screws so middle is a com and the rightmost will be an NO pin which I just have explained a moment back so I'm going to take this this connected this this cut part of the wire and one end I will plug into the the NO like this okay just make sure that they go properly 
they fit in properly so once they go in then you basically tie it the screw that's basically anno and the other end the cut part you can put into the common pin because that's a common terminal right so this is the common one so I'm going to put into the common one I hope you can see properly and then I'm going to just tighten the screw so they stay properly all right so this is how we will have to connect the relay module and you see the NC the rightmost I kept it as it is right because that's not my interest so I just keep it like this for now so it will be much more easy for you to see because this relay how can I place it like this so this relay is basically uh, connected the AC side of the connection through the terminal screw they are connected to the slide bulb so just to uh, control the flow of a current through the relay okay and then we have to take our favorite node MCU so this is our node MCU I'm going to place it here and just let me just make it a little more abstract so that it will be more visible okay and just power up the node MCU so I just powered up node MCU and here is the ESP and then we need a male to female jumper wire and we know the connections they are pretty simple so we have to first uh, take the input pin so this is the input pin right mouse and that will connect to GPIO2 pin right so that's basically D4 pin so this one I believe the GPIO2 D4 is basically a GPIO2 and then we have to take another jumper wire and uh, we will connect the 3.3 volt and that will go to VCC on the relay so this is how it's gonna connect VCC and the last pin will be a ground pin right so this is the ground so this one is a ground have to see whether they are right and then the middle one on the DC side of the connection will be a ground and you see now it's connected properly now the point is we have to give this 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 to the AC supply okay and we need for that we need a real AC uh, socket so he's in socket to whom I'm going to connect so let me just plug this up here okay and now I can place it so you can see this relay don't touch this because it's now connected to AC right I can turn this off for now sure there's nothing and there's a relay and there is a, a node MCU and here's a light bulb so I then have to take my phone okay and just test it so here we have a blink app that we have created in our previous lesson so I'm gonna go into the blink app and now you see the temperature data is not there because uh, we have not connected LM35 in our previous lesson you might remember that we have uh, connected the temperature sensor so it's zero so let me turn on the main power supply okay now you see the light bulb is on right so when I press the button here you see the light bulb goes off right and you see the relay get activated and the light bulb turns on when I press the button it might take some time but LED goes off so turn on so it just worked a little bit other way around like when we turn it on it will get off off will be on or something like that because this built-in LED on the node MCU is a little bit configured on other way around but that's fine you can just play around NO and NC and you can able to achieve the results that you want so when I press the button the LED goes off Turn on, turn it off, turn it on, and turn it off. So I hope you have learned something 
out of this lesson but if you want to create this mobile app and then you want to read the sensor data and do everything then please check the link in the video description and there are the links for the previous lesson so you can come to this point where you can able to control the GPIO to pin on the node MCU from the mobile app and then you can able to add the relay to your project and then control the actual 230 volt operated AC light bulb. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see us into the next video lesson. Bye bye for now.